With so many diets to choose from, it can feel overwhelming when trying to figure out the best one for weight loss. Low fat, keto, Atkins, and the list goes on and on. And now, with intermittent fasting becoming a hot topic, it's hard to know which diet is the right fit for you. Let's dive into the science of diet plans and see which one has the best results both for losing weight and keeping it off. We often hear the most important factor in diets for weight loss is creating an energy deficit. The aesthetic calories in, calories out model suggests that by reducing calories intake and increasing physical activity, we can achieve this deficit. But the truth is, it's not that straightforward. Sure, it might work for a short period, but the body is a tricky thing as its metabolic adjustments to decrease energy intake can also result in a decrease in energy expenditure and a slow down weight loss. In reality, the components of energy balance model are dynamically interrelated. The calories we eat are used in three different ways. The majority, up to 70%, is used for our resting energy expenditure, the energy needed to keep us alive and functioning even when we are at rest. Additionally, part of our energy intake is used for physical activities, including activities of daily living and exercise. Despite popular belief, doing physical exercise is not the key to weight loss because we only have control over a small portion of the energy expenditure. Finally, the thermic effect of the food, which is the energy used to ingest our meals, is the smallest of the three ways we use energy. Processed food has about 50% less thermic effect than whole food. Protein-rich food has a higher thermic effect compared to carbohydrates and high-fat food. Protein-rich food will also help our body burn more calories by promoting muscle growth and maintenance. There are some other ingredients such as caffeine, capsaicin, and different teas such as green, white, and oolong tea that can increase our energy expenditure and fat oxidation and have the potential to contract the decrease in our metabolic rate. We have more control over the calories in part of the equation. The secret to Weight loss is not just about counting calories, but also understanding the balance between the quantity, quality, and frequency of our meals. Research shows that different diets that focus on macronutrients lead to similar, modest weight loss results. Additionally, a recent study found that intermittent fasting is not more effective for weight loss than daily calorie restriction. Have you heard of the satiety index before? It helps us understand which foods are more likely to keep us feeling full and satisfied for longer periods. Whole, unprocessed foods are the most filling, while the heavily processed foods are the less filling and have a lower satiety index. Many of the foods with high satiety index fit a Mediterranean way of eating with emphasis on whole minimally processed foods, has a high intake of fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. These foods have a fairly balanced macronutrient ratio. When it comes to controlling our appetite, whole foods that are high in protein and fiber and have more carbs than fat can be especially helpful. Protein-rich foods not only are highly satiating, but can also help maintain weight loss. A diet high in fibers helps us with satiety and makes us feel full. Fiber-rich food increases gastric distension, slows the rate of gastric emptying, and impacts satiety hormones. Less calorie-dense food is more satiating than calorie-dense food. Fiber-rich foods has a low calorie density like fruits and vegetables. These foods can be just as satisfying as high calorie dense foods but have fewer calories. Additionally, viscous fibers are more satiating than less viscous fibers. Beans, carrots, sprouts, asparagus, flax seeds, oranges, apples, guavas, and oats are all foods that are high in viscous fiber. Fat is often considered a guilty pleasure. It is high in calories, yet not as filling as other types of food. It's a good reminder to be mindful of the amount of fat we include in our daily meal and to choose healthy fats such as nuts, seeds, and avocados to help us feel satisfied during the day. If you find this information helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this one. Okay, let's get back to the topic. Foods that have more texture generate a larger satiety sensation. For example, crunchy or chewy foods require more chewing, which in turn tricks us to feel more full. Here is a good tip. Next time hunger strikes, add some crunchy veggies or chewy whole grains to your meals and snacks and you will feel more satisfied and full. Have you ever noticed that a glass of juice 
doesn't seem to fill you up as much as a piece of fruit or a serving of vegetables would. Liquid calories are not as satisfying as solid foods which can lead to overeating and taking in more calories than we need. Did you know that what you think about your food can affect how food it makes you feel? Even before taking a bite, our perception of a food's nutrient content can impact our satisfaction level. A practical approach to altering perception is by reading food labels and choosing the ones with high satiety messages. For example, high protein. Isn't it amazing how our minds can play a role in our eating habits? The weight and volume of our meals are also important for our satiety sensation. Increasing the weight of a meal by including water-rich foods can make you feel more full. Water can also help to break down food in your stomach. This allows your body's nutrient sensors to be triggered more quickly. Drinking two glasses of water before a meal is a weight loss strategy as it helps reduce hunger and increase feeling of fullness. Starting your day off with a nutritious breakfast is key to maintaining weight loss because it can help control your hunger and prevent overeating later in the day. Eating breakfast also gives you more energy to tackle your day. It is also important to avoid late night munchies. At the end of the day, the secret to achieving sustainable weight loss is not about following a specific diet, but rather making conscious and healthy food choices and maintaining a healthy lifestyle.